Okay. Mm. Here we are with 31. <laughs> there was a young lady of Exeter, so pretty that men craned their necks at her. One was even so brave as to take out and wave the distinguishing mark of his sex at her. <laughs> oh, lovely. Let's read it again. There was a young lady of Exeter, so pretty, so pretty that men craned their necks at her. One was even so brave as to take out and wave the distinguishing mark of his sex at her. 1927 to 1941. 32. There was a young lady of fashion, who had oodles and oodles of passion. To her lover, she said, as they climbed into bed, Here's one thing the bastards can't ration. <laughs> Hot tuna. 1942. 33. There was a young girl in Dakota, had a letter from Ickes he wrote her. In addition to gas, we are rationing ass, and you've greatly exceeded your quota. <laughs> 1942, that's good. 34. Woo! There was a young lady named Flynn, who thought fornication a sin, but when she was tight, it seemed, ooh, quite all right, so everyone filled her with gin. <laughs> My kind of foreplay, 1927 to 1941. <clears throat> 35. A reckless young lady of France had no qualms about taking a chance, but she thought it was crude to get screwed in the nude, so she always went home with damp pants. <laughs> damp pants. Plosive P, 1941. 36. A nervous young fellow named Fred took a charming young widow to bed. When he diddled a while, she remarked with a smile, You've got it all in but the head. <laughs> or maybe it's, You've got it all in but the head. She was an elder widow. 37. There was a young fellow named Fife, not Barney, whose marriage was ruined for life, for he had an aversion to every perversion and only liked fucking his wife. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, this is a long one. Wait a minute. Let me go from the beginning. Here we go. It's a three-parter. There was a young fellow named Fife, whose marriage was ruined for life, for he had an aversion to every perversion and only liked fucking his wife. Well, one year the poor woman struck, and she wept and she cursed at her luck, and said, Where have you gotten us with your goddamn monotonous fuck after fuck after fuck? I once knew a harlot named Lou, and a, vers and a versatile girl she was too. After ten years of whoredom, she perished of boredom when she married a jackass like you. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I did not read that well enough. Forty. There was a young lady of Gloucester, met a passionate fellow who tossed her. She wasn't much hurt, but he dirtied her skirt. So think of the anguish it cost her. Uh, 1927 to 1941. Oh, here's another one. 41. There was a young lady of Gloucester, whose friends they thought they had lost her, till they found on the grass the marks of her ass and the knees of the man who had crossed her. 1870. 42. There was a young fellow named Goody, who claimed that he wouldn't, but would he? If he found himself nude with a gal in the mood, the question's not would he, but could he? The question's not would he, but could he? <laughs> Very clever, 1944. 43. In my sweet little Alice blue gown was the first time I ever laid down. I was both proud and shy as he opened his fly. And the moment I saw it, I thought I would die. 
Oh, it hung almost down to the ground. As it went in, I made not a sound. The more that he shoved it, the more that I loved it, as he came on my Alice Blue gown. 1944. Very romantic. Makes me want to wear a blue gown. 45. In my sweet little nightgown of blue, on the first night that I slept with you, I was both shy and scared as the bed was prepared, and you played peek-a-boo with my ribbons of blue. As we both watched the break of day, and in peaceful submission I lay, you said you adored it. But damn it, you tore it, my sweet little nightgown of blue, you animal. 1944. Winter is here with his grouch, the time when you sneeze and slouch. You can't take your women canoeing or swimming, but a lot can be done on a couch. Isn't that the truth? 1927. Oh, wait a minute. I might be reading... Oh, wait. Never mind. 48. It always delights me at Hank's to walk up the old river banks. One time in the grass, I stepped on an ass and heard a young girl murmur, Thanks! <laughs> That's good. 1946. Oh, there was a young girl from Hong Kong who said, You are utterly wrong to say my vaginas the largest in China just because of your mean little dong. That's good. Better than my bad Asian accent. All right, 50. There once, there was once a sad maitre d'hotel who said, They can all go to hell. What they do to my wife. Why, it ruins my life. And the worst is they all do it well. 51. There was a young man... Uh, there was a young man named Hughes who swore off all kinds of booze. He said, when I'm muddled, my senses get fuddled and I pass up too many screws. Mm, well, all the more reason to abstain. 1927. There were three ladies of Huxham, and whenever we meet them, we fuck them. And when that game grows stale, we sits on a rail and pulls out our pricks and they sucks them. 1870. Oh, my. Seems like they're having more fun than, than we do now. 53. There was a young lady named Inge who went on a binge with a dinge. Now, I won't breathe a word of what really occurred. But her cunt has a chocolate fringe. Woo, tasty. 1943b. 54. An octogenarian Jew to his wife remained steadfastly true. This was not from compunction, but due to dysfunction of his spermatic glands. Nuts to you. That's good. An octogenarian Jew, to his wife remained steadfastly true. This was not from compunction, but due to dysfunction of his spermatic glands. Nuts to you. 1941. Oh, wait, I have to have a sip of my cold coffee. <laughs> oh, my, so tasty. Here we are with 55. Snyder's got a stiff ticket, said Kay. Come on, take it out and let's play. He pulled it on out, but she started to pout. His ticket was only a quarter inch stout. <sighs> 1943. Mm. A pansy who lived... 56. A pansy who lived in Khartoum took a lesbian up to his room, and they argued all night over who had the right to do what and with which and to whom... Mm. 41 through 52. 57. Oh, excuse me, burpee. Oh, boy. There was an old lady who lay with her legs wide apart in the hay. Then calling the plowman, she said, Do it now, man. Don't wait till your hair has turned gray. <coughs> 1943. 
1928 to 1941. Pearls of wisdom. There were, oh, 58. There was a young lady of Lee who, scram, who scrambled up into a tree. When she got there, when she got there, her arsehole was bare, and so was her K-U-N-T. Oh, that one's clever. I like that a lot. <laughs> there was a young lady of Lee who scrambled up into a tree. When she got there, her arsehole was bare, and so was a K-U-N-T. 1870. 59. A worn-out young husband named Lair heard daily his wife's plaintive prayer. Slip on a sheath quick, then slip your big dick between these lips covered with hair. 1945. And here's 60. There was a young plumber of Lee, who was plumbing a girl by the sea. She said, Stop your plumbing, there's somebody coming, said the plumber still plumbing. It's me! 1927 and 1928. <laughs> oh, it's good, good, good stuff.